Hey everyone, and welcome to another snowy morning in the Everything Challenge on No Man's Land. It is February, which is planting month for cotton, what we've been working on for the last couple of episodes. And then we also want to prepare ourselves to put potatoes or another one of these root crops in the ground. So our very first thing will be to buy a planter. Looks like our trees have uh, grown one stage overnight, which is, uh, which is good. They're getting towards their 24 months. I think, I don't know if you point at it. Yeah, it's 25 meters. I think they get the 34. Let's jump across to the shop and see if we can find a planter. I'm thinking something bigger than smaller here. So we'll go straight to the right hand side. So I want something that has both planting and fertilization, uh, has both of these things. So uh, this one does not, this one does, this one doesn't, uh, this one does. So 12 meters, 18 meters, 15. This is just looking quite good. It's, it's kind of way up there. I mean, it's expensive, but uh, this is going to be bought once and, and just get used. This doesn't have potatoes. Do any of these have potatoes? No. Uh, we can go slight, so 12 versus 18. So we could go slightly smaller for nearly half the price. Oh, this doesn't have fertilization. Oh, simple as that. That's it. We're going to do this, this massive guy. I am not going to even lease it. We are just going to buy it. Talking about buying, is there anything in the, ooh, there is lots in the sales. What are you? Shallow cultivators. So that's a cultivator. I don't think we'll be using cultivators that much. Um, that isn't, it's semi-wide, six meters. But more interesting, and there is some tractors. This fence with the uh, with the tracks is very attractive. It's very, the horsepower is through the roof, but because it has no front linkage, like here, you can really only put things on the back. And uh, yeah, it just makes it a little bit um, unwieldy. It's also slightly expensive at 150. I mean, it's a great discount and all, but. But this guy, you can't go past a hundred thousand dollars off. Um, we're up in the three hundred range, which does everything we want. Has the linkage. Uh, it can't take a fork, which is fine because I don't think we'll ever use our tractors for our forklift work. I am going to get a small loan out to give us up to a hundred grand. We'll probably just get a straight hundred thousand dollars out. Uh, money's coming in pretty fast these days, so we don't have to worry about uh, that. I think the uh, tires can be left uh, standard. We don't have to go wide or narrow. Um, let's choose the BKTs because they just look cool. And we'll go with that. So let's buy that. And we can use that new tractor, which should be up at the shop, uh, to move our new harvester. And there it is, our new fence. So we'll have to get a whole lot of seed for this guy. There's already a lot sitting here on the ground. So uh, let's fill this up with what we have back here in the store. Uh, I will buy more if there's not enough, because there's nothing in the uh, in the shop. All right, so let's get probably another four bags of seed. And we'll also get some pallets of a liquid fertilizer. Um, and fill up on those as well. All right, get the last bag. It took a fair few uh, to fill it up, it took three bags to fill it up and uh, two and a bit IBCs. Since it's uh, snowy, we'll leave the Christmas tree up. And happy Christmas to everybody who celebrates. I believe this episode goes out Christmas Day. So we've got to, uh, we'll keep our Christmas tree hanging around for that. Uh, it's going to be interesting to find in the uh, snow, but I think we can work it out. So... We will unfold it. It's huge. 
I didn't check the, whether this fence, this fence got, uh, I believe it's, was it 300? Three, uh, two, 296 horsepower. And the planter wants, ooh, 350. So we might struggle this. We will see. So let's uh, drop this down. And we'll find the edge of our field. There it is. And we will get planting. This uh, field risky is all the snow that you can see right here in front of us. So we probably will have to get more seed again. Uh, plans to go acrosswards. There's a little uh, uh, rectangle missing here, which is fine. Uh, we'll just go over that. Get the line down at the bottom here, and then we'll go up and down, up and down. So uh, let's get a time lapse going and uh, get our, cot uh, our cotton field in the ground. With that row, with the uh, fertilizer and the seed running out, let's uh, stop this right there. Uh, the snow made it a little bit tricky to uh, go along in straight lines, but uh, I kind of worked that out in the end. I think rather than trying to drive this all the way up to the shop, we'll bring the seeds and the fertilizer to it. Let's jump across to the uh, yard. Um, yeah, the new hole in will do. We'll grab our trailer, which I think is hidden back in here. Actually, out of interest, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, forklift to uh, put stuff on this. I wonder if the forklift can uh, actually tow this trail. If it can, that would be good. We'll uh, lift uh, all those sea bags and fertilizer and IBCs onto this trailer. Hopefully we can get it all to fit. There is a tow bar at the bottom of this thing, so I, hopefully we can pick up the uh, trailer with it. 
push this forward. And squeeze through here. Can we make that connect? Yes, looks like we can. Awesome. Not a bad way of getting our seed to uh, out to the planter. I just noticed that the uh, maintenance on this forklift is quite low, so I think I might run in the shop and uh, actually fix it. That way we uh, don't run into troubles later. Shouldn't really matter that the forklift is in bad repair, but hey, for the sake of 700 bucks, we can definitely fix it. Right, let's get back onto the trailer. Actually, the trailer's okay where it is. Let's get the IBCs and everything else loaded up. We'll try to squeeze one of those fertilizer bags on here. I don't think it's going to uh, fit very well, but we'll give it a go. And then we can go out to the field. This is not the uh, fertilizer being used, though, by the uh, planter, so... Not the biggest deal if we don't get it to work. Squeeze that on the far side. And then we can take this out to the field. Nice. Alright, let's get this out to the field. I think the uh, forklift should be able to drive it. Ooh, bit of a snow power slide. Yeah, I think the forklift should have not too much troubles getting it out of the field. So I think I might lower the head. Let's get out there and refill the planter so we can finish off the uh, seeding of the cotton. All right, let's line this up and hope that we can uh, refill it. Yeah, the animation just went, so that's good news. Huge machine. That's, that's kind of cool. You can see the um, mountain seed in it, actually. Let me see if I can get back up there again. Uh, yeah, you can see that there's a little bit of seed in there and there. That's awesome. Alright. Let's get this refilled. And we should be able to finish off this oak field without too much effort. Looks like there's going to be an annoying stripe here on the left. I think if you uh, used the worker and did it absolutely perfect, the uh, spacing would actually work out and it would actually be a pretty good multiple going across the field. Looks like the, uh, the uh, liquid fertilizer um, is going to hold out. That uh, IBC we bought uh, is just enough. We'll just clear up, clean up this corner. Some of these trees are getting really, really close. Um, I actually planted those trees right in front of us from the uh, with the landscape tool just to make it look pretty, but I might get rid of some of the ones closer to the field. They've become a bit uh, problematic. But this should be the last stripe, and we should have a beautifully huge cotton field. I think the uh, field's big enough to produce maybe two bales, and so it should keep the spinnery busy uh, at least for one year, I think. Hopefully there's enough uh, land here to keep it busy for longer than that. Uh, my goal is to have 
fields that are big enough that will keep a production going for maybe two years and so that way we can rotate the crop in each field hopefully this uh liquid fertilizer will hold out i think we should i think we'll get we'll get to the end and then we can fold this up uh it could do with a nice spray we'll uh use our pressure washer to clean it off and we'll definitely refill it as well with uh, seed and fertilizer. But that is the cotton harvest done. No, the cotton planting, I should say. What we need to do next is... Oh, why are you so slow? There it goes. And... Yeah, you probably shouldn't move that while it's holding. I cut down these trees just then. They were making it so it was very hard to do a U-turn. Uh, I don't think there's anything on this trailer over here because it's solid fertilizer, which doesn't help, and liquid herbicide. So I don't think there's anything on here we can use to uh, fill up. No, I'm pretty sure there's not. So uh, let's, how are we gonna do this? I think I'll just run up to the store and do it that way. So I bought eight sea bags. My plan is to uh, then come up here with the trailer and fill it up as well and we'll, uh, we'll bring everything that's spare home it's like that's quarter fertilizer in the machine this will uh, only use about three bags maybe even only two and the rest can come back home and then we'll try to back into where the IBCs are uh, I hope I can get this uh, fertilizer out of the way those IBCs filled up as well. Might actually need a third one. Success. Alright, let's uh, drive this back home. We'll go to the, uh, our pathway, the path we made. Alright, first things first, let's get this thing washed. Grab the uh, pressure washer. And give this guy a good spray. Gotta keep it nice and clean. I don't think the uh, fence got much dirt on it. it. Looks pretty clean. Make sure that everything's uh, nice and tidy. Oh, can't go too far away. And I think that is pretty clean. I think the fence, I'm just going to get the glass, I think the fence is quite clean. So, and then we can clean this off just in case. Cool. Yeah, that did quite well. So let's find somewhere to park this for a month or so. It's going to get used right in, uh, actually let's put it right here because it's going to get used in this field. We're rapidly getting to the point where we need to put down some sheds, I think. Let's grab the forklift and get the rest of the uh, fertilizer and stuff and seed back to main camp. I think there's um, maybe the possibility of emptying these off as we go by. Pretty full load, got our six sea bags and two fertilizer bags on here. We'll pick up the last type you see as we go by on the front tines. And we'll get this all back to base. And they can uh, stay on this trailer 
to be used uh, out in the field or wherever they need to be uh, taken to. And with that, we'll leave them under the Christmas tree. And I hope everybody has had a wonderful Christmas. We will see you next time where we uh, move into March. Between uh, now and March, I may actually make, give myself a little present and make another field out there out on the left hand side. Just so we have one more spot for crops. Don't forget to always like, subscribe and comment. I really, really appreciate you guys. And we'll see you next time on the Everything Challenge. Thanks for watching.